Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and we're going to be taking a look at the official Samsung MHL high definition TV adapter for Samsung devices and we're going to try it out with the Note 2 see if it works. Now I did try this out with the Galaxy S3 and you can see it's compatible with the S3 there but this should also work with the Note 2 so we're going to try it out, see how well it works uh, and see what you get out of the box basically. So just show you what you got out of the box and I think this cost me about, I think it was about 18, 19 pounds from eBay I think it was. You get an instruction manual with it with some terms and conditions and health and safety information in various languages but you don't really need it to be fair. So this is exactly what you get out of the box. Just bring that in so you can see it. Along the one side you've got the micro USB port connector there which plugs into the bottom of the phone. Along the other side of the adapter you've got the HDMI port where it takes their HDMI output to the monitor. And then along this side, if I turn that around, you've got a little USB connector there, a micro USB connector, which is basically for the power because the Note 2 can't power this little adapter on its own, so it needs some extra help. So you're gonna need the USB 2.0 to micro USB cable that came with the phone and just plug it in there. So first things first, I'm going to plug in the power. So if I bring in the cable that was supplied with the phone, so as I say, you've got the USB 2.0 on the one side and the micro USB on the other. So this side I'm going to plug in to the PC, so the USB 2.0 and the micro USB cable here, as I said, is used to power the device. So I'll plug that into there. Brilliant. And then bring in the HDMI cable from my monitor. Get that plugged in there as easy as that and this is the usb micro usb cable from the adapter itself which gets plugged into the phone so if i just bring the phone in and then just plug that straight in and then it should give it a second or two to pick it up and there you go on the screen it says stereo surround sound that's for the sound obviously and you can see the monitors picked it up so if i was to just say stereo that'll be fine and if we swipe across the, uh, the screens it does the same on the monitor screen behind it there we're going to the apps and it's pretty pretty instant as you can see so what we'll do we'll see what else you can do with it see what video looks like so if we load up uh, the video player and what I'll do is yeah we've got a skyfall trailer you can see it's all automatically started playing in full screen view even though it's not full screen on the phone yet notice the volume it started playing the volume through the speakers of the TV I'm going to use the volume up and down rockers on the phone itself and you'll notice it also increases the volume on the on the TV screen there. So here we go. In decrease the volume via the, the controls on the phone. I'm just going to see if it's going to skip through it as well. Yeah, it skipped through it fine, as it did on the phone. It's a wicked film. If you get a chance, watch it. Come out of that. Video works brilliantly, as you'd expect. Let's try some music. Because sound comes through the speakers of the monitor, so here we go. I'll use the album. How many men? We'll do that 50 cent. Again, we get exactly the same output from the monitor, which is coming from the phone. Volume up again. So skipping through the track also works fine as well as you'd expect. So that works brilliantly. We'll just come out of that. What I also want to show you is the multi-window support. See if that actually works well through the, the monitor. So I'm just pressing the back button on the phone to enable a tab which pops up along the left hand side there. So what we'll do is load up, drag and drop YouTube. So that is enabled there. Play a music video, that'll be okay. That buffers in and then starts playing. Starts playing full screen along the back. So just pull the tab again. What we'll do is we'll load up another video. And load that in there. And you can see it's got the multi-window support on the on the screen of the the note. So if I just select movies there, 
and then start playing the Skyfall trailer on this side notice the multi-window support we'll just get the volume going again on both notice the monitor plays sound from both the videos not just the one so again pull the tab see if we load up uh, another app while we're in full screen here and Facebook drag and drop that over the YouTube one now we'll replace a YouTube application with Facebook as you can see there Skyfall trailers finished so it's resumed with multi-screen window here excellent so but I've noticed with the Facebook application with any other application apart from dual video links it skips if I start playing the the video again it goes to full screen on the monitor which doesn't allow you to see the Facebook Facebook application on uh, on the monitor so I don't know if that's uh, just uh, something which doesn't work by the MHL link while that's playing if I then load another app say uh, I don't know let's try the internet See, the internet's loaded there, but it's still playing. No matter what you press on the screen, it still continues to play full screen, even though I've got the web application open as well. So the MHL link with a multi-screen window it does work to a degree depending on what you're using but some apps don't actually work so the video output overrides both if you're using the video player but as you saw with the, the YouTube both of them continue to play so what we'll now do is go back to Facebook and load that over the top of the video player but this time it recognizes both the applications as you can see there you can resize as normal swap them about as well as you'd expect and they work fine at least multi-window support does work to a degree using the MHL link which uh, is always a good thing see if you can do twice as much on even a bigger screen so we'll come out of the applications completely and see if the S Pen works as well through the, the monitor as it does on the phone itself so we'll grab the S Pen out ok I'm just going to load up uh, the happy birthday idea note type of template there and see if it just recognizes the input as fast as I type it in or I say type it in draw it on the screen so here we go um, so you can see it's got hello there hello my name is so the input is taken really well considering there's a slight link between the phone and the screen I would have thought there would have been maybe a delay of a couple of seconds but it's actually pretty good it works really well so I'm just gonna come out of that a second and we'll try the galleries how good pictures look as well I'll get the S Pen put back in right let's have a look uh, so profile picture I've got here of myself and my son switched it around okay that looks pretty good so if we go back to the main menu again have a look at uh, some of the images on here as you swipe across them they move along on the screen as well as you can see there's a, maybe a second less than a second delay as it moves across on the monitor as well so again really well and you can go back to some of the if I show you some of the camera ones I've got here from Halloween picture my daughter route and uh, while we're here, I'm just going to load up a game, see how good the games look on here. We'll load up a uh, Grand Theft Auto 10 year anniversary edition, see how well that looks. 
automatically goes to full screen view as it does on the phone. Now you're going to wonder, well, how can I play a game holding the phone with a cable connect to it onto an external screen? Well, you can, but the phone does also work with a PS3 and an Xbox 360 controller. So watch this space. I've got some videos coming soon for that. Show you how you can hook those up wirelessly, not wired. Wired works fine with uh, no reading at all, but wirelessly. So stay tuned for those. I'll put a link in the description and on the screens when those become available. So here we go. I'm pressing the screens navigate on the left hand side here and you can see the the screen views changing as well so if we just walk up to a car I'm just gonna put down the volume because uh, oh ah, got busted straight away gutted Whoa, don't want to steal a cop car. Yep, take the finger and give me your car. I'm just going to put the screen down on the phone a little bit so you can get to see a bit more of the... Whoop, I can't even drive. Just bring it the screen in so you can see how what the difference is in terms of what's happening on the, on the phone compared with the monitor. So the delay isn't it's sort of less than half a second, I'm going to say, maybe, if that. But there doesn't seem like there's any lag. It does seem a little bit pixelated as per the graphics on the monitor because it's a bigger screen and a lot of anti-aliasing going on there but as you'd expect on the phone it looks awesome because it's a smaller screen but this is just playing it from the phone to the monitor and it does look good to be fair for what it is a 10 year old game on a HD monitor so it's not going to look the best but yeah that does work really really well and I'm going off a cliff because I'm not paying attention hi ho but that gives you an idea of the MHL link from uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.